Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. We've got an exciting episode for you this week as we're talking about a newly discovered giant Eocene apex crocodilomorph predator, as well as beetles found trapped in amber alongside dinosaur feathers. Guys, you waiting? Yeah, ready. ready. Oh! Recording. No! Firstly, a new large body crocodilomorph has been named and described based on fossils found in France. Named as Dentaniosuchus crassiproratus, this reptile lived around 40 million years ago in the Eocene epoch, and it's represented by quite a lot of fragmentary but still pretty nice material, including bits of the skull. This animal belongs to a croc grouping known as Sebecosuchia, which is a separate lineage from the one leading to modern day crocodilians and is part of a larger grouping called the Notosuchians, which had some very successful terrestrial radiations during the time of the dinosaurs. Terrestrial Sebecosuchians from after the dinosaur extinction are known from Europe, however their relationships to Mesozoic forms are unclear. This new species though is now the most complete and the largest European Sebecosuchian known to science, clarifying relationships among this group. Dentaniosuchus was almost certainly an apex predator of its time and ecosystem, reaching 3 to 4 meters in length, showing that these terrestrial crocodilomorphs were able to become large, formidable predators during the Eocene. Also in the news is the absolutely fantastic discovery of prehistoric beetle larvae found trapped in amber alongside dinosaur feathers. These amazing amber fossils come from the early Cretaceous of Spain, and date to 105 million years ago. Within this amber specimen, larval molts from a beetle probably closely related to modern day skin beetles, also known as domestic beetles, were found in close association with the feathers from some kind of theropod dinosaur, either avian or non-avian. Domestic beetles are what is known as keratophagus, meaning they've evolved to feed on keratin, which feathers are made of, and modern examples of these invertebrates often inhabit the nests of birds and mammals, where feathers and hair naturally accumulate. The relationship between these prehistoric beetles and theropods is therefore interpreted as being symbiotic, not a parasitic one. This is due to the fact that these larvae were feeding on detached feathers, indicated by the decay of the feathers and the presence of fungal strands and so the beetles were not actively munching away on feathers that were still attached to the bodies of the dinosaurs. As such, the researchers proposed that these prehistoric beetles likely lived in the same way as modern domestids, inhabiting the nests of dinosaurs and feeding on their shed feathers and skin, while the dinosaurs remained unharmed by these activities. It's an absolutely incredible find, showing how complex these prehistoric worlds were, and in some ways quite similar to our modern one. A brilliant new paper there then. Anyway, that's going to be it from us this week. Apologies for the fairly short episode, both Doug and myself are in the last stages of working on our final year dissertations, so we've been very busy recently, and I'm going to be quite busy in the next couple months or so still, uh, working on a lot of university things. But then once that's all done, I intend to fully focus back on the channel again, and we've got some really exciting things lined up for you, so, and I can't wait for you all to see soon. So thank you for watching and for your continued support, and we'll see you next week.